Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to your bonus daily reading for today. Um, this is going to be a Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine reading and we're going to be looking um, at briefly what's going on with both parts um, and where that stands in your current situation. So um, you can view this video to see what's happening with your Divine Masculine uh, or you can view this video to see <clears throat> what's happening with your Divine Feminine. If you are involved in this kind of connection and you want to see what's going on um, in their end, then this um, this daily reading is going to be helpful for you. So uh, let's jump into it and see what's coming up first and foremost um, with Divine Feminine at the top here. Okay, and then the bottom cards will be Divine Masculine. Okay, so lots of fire energy straight away. So the Divine Feminine wants to take action towards the situation and get the ball rolling. Um, but they're stunted for some reason with the hangman. So um, <clears throat> if you're identifying as a Divine Feminine, you're in a place where you want to proceed forward, but you're uncertain about how to do that. The Nine of... <clears throat> Sorry, um, the Nine of Wands is really saying that you're fearful about taking a step, um, but you're trying to protect yourself at the same time. Interestingly enough, the thought of keeping your options open is coming up or this sort of advice is coming up here around you. You could be weighing things up, um, but I would think it's more like the Two of Pentacles to sort of weigh things up and juggle things. To see the Two of Wands come up in Divine Feminine, I think um, is showing that Divine Feminine wants to take action. Um, and if that action is not reciprocated or is not given or is not responded to, um, then the Divine Feminine will move on elsewhere. We've got the Six of Wands, so... Um, you there there is the wanting of some sort of outcome here for divine feminine um so you've you've been wanting this sort of outcome um and if if it's not happening i feel like with the hangman you're sort of going well is this doomed to fail you know there's there's pessimism here with the hangman so you may not have a lot of hope in your current situation with your divine masculine so um you may be feeling uh, that it would be easier just to quit and, and move on with someone else entirely. So you have thought about an ending or you may be thinking about an ending. Um, if you were to end this connection and terminate it where it is now, the Six of Wands would indicate that you would have attractive people coming up around you, maybe even secret admirers, um, okay, who will, who will come up uh, and, and try to give you what it is that you want. Let's look at Divine Masculine. Okay, Divine Masculine has had some thoughts about leaving the relationship or leaving a situation with the Five of Swords. Five of Swords, Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords, um, and Aries energy. So they're very stubborn and they're very set on something at this point in time. The Ace of Swords would indicate they're trying to fight their feelings, fight their thoughts, um, or they're trying to resist against something here. They may have recently been a third party situation or another person that has walked into their life. Um, the magician would indicate that they're acting single or they want to be single. They need more freedom or they need more independence. They're craving that from you um, and they're craving that from this connection. I think there's a lot of confusing energy happening with divine masculine. Um, I think they're confused um, and this is speaking volumes of what's going on internally. They could be feeling lonely without you, or it could be when they lay their head on the pillow at night, they're thinking, okay, what is it that I really want? Um, and, you know, sometimes we do get confused. We, we don't really know what it is we want, or we don't know which way to go about it. Um, but the nine could indicate they have thought about stepping away, okay? Um, and maybe they need time. I do see someone departing here. Okay, this is a departure with the five of swords. It's almost like they've fought for this relationship. They've fought for this connection for X amount of time. Um, and then suddenly it's 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 not something that they want anymore. <clears throat> I also feel like with the magician, there could be some manipulation. The magician is seen as the trickster. He makes things appear a certain way when they're really not this way. So the, the way he's appearing and what he's doing isn't all that it seems. So there can be divine masculine that's manipulating you um, or trying to get you to see something when it's something else. So there may be some gaslighting going on here. Okay, they might have told you they did something, they deleted something when really they didn't. Um, it could be that they went on a date and they said that they didn't. So there can be something that they may be hiding. The magician is full of secrets. Okay, this is this is what he represents. So there can be some secrecy. Um, 
there could be a vibe here that there may be something that they're not telling you. They're either not ready to tell you or they don't feel like they're in a place to communicate. Communication is struggling because ace, it's a struggle. This is thought and communication. This is what the swords represent. So to see that, I, I get a vibe that they're struggling to communicate how they really feel internally. They're keeping it to themselves. They're keeping their cards close to their chest. So <clears throat> what's happening here is that they're coming into this sort of energy where they want to keep yeah their cards close to their chest and not reveal too much. Um, but I feel like they're struggling to find the words or they're struggling to verbalize what it is that's really going on. Um, but there may be something there may be something that a DM is hiding from you or not being completely honest about with you. So it might come to a point where you'll need to address what it is that's really going on here. Um, and, you know, don't forget the way that they're presenting isn't always the way they're feeling internally or what's going on in the background scenes as well. So, you know, Divine Feminine wants to take action, but Divine Masculine is just not having it. Instead of taking action, they're either ready to give up, ready to leave. Um, they've been thinking about an ending or they think it's too much of a struggle. They think it's too much work at this stage. Of course, things can change. Um but hopefully uh, we'll be in touch soon. Um, so look out for these daily readings um, and we shall be in touch very soon. So thanks again. Don't forget to drop a like um, and subscribe to the channel and we shall be in touch. Bye for now.